If you're watching this video, you're one of the eager fans who cannot wait to see what Universal has in store for its seventh installment of the Fast and Furious series. Birthed back in 2001 with the Fast and the Furious bringing in $145 million from the box office, the series has now collectively brought in over $1 billion in revenue. But that's not why you clicked this video. Let's take a look at what we know about the upcoming Furious 7 movie. First off, in the end of the sixth movie you will have noticed a Lamborghini Superleggera, a Bensopra GTR, a Cuda, and a Camaro. This is a huge change from the original movie with some Turbo Civics hijacking trucks. Obviously stakes are higher now, and so are the cars. However, we have the same core. That movie was born around the streets of LA. Now, not only are we back in LA, Universal has released images of scenes from Race Wars. Now to true fans of the series, this is not only awesome, but it shows Universal knows that this movie is based around fans who generally live this type of life. Some of us live paycheck to paycheck just to have a unique ride to show up to events on the weekend or just when driving around to get a few looks. It's not about glamour, but it's about showing your vision of what a cool car looks like, and Fast and Furious has done this by covering everything from basic JDM all the way up to Italian exotics, making all gearheads happy. I'm sure you knew it was coming, but we have to mention the death of Paul Walker. Not only was he a great character in the series, he was a genuine car fanatic, but more importantly, a great person who used his fame and wealth to make our world a better place. To cover for this huge loss, it was decided it would be best to give Brian O'Connor a proper send-off, instead of killing him off. To do this, however, director James Wan and Universal used CGI and body doubles. These body doubles were not just people that looked like Paul, they were his brothers. This not only helped finish filming, but made the cast feel like Paul was looking over them in spirit. The family theme that has been developing over the series really became prevalent in this tragic time for the Fast series. The third thing we can all be excited for is the addition of Jason Statham. He is hands down one of the most badass characters on the big screen, but he has to go up against Toretto and The Rock in what will be one of the most epic fight scenes in the action series. He brings more stardom to the movie, but is also a totally different aspect that none of us saw coming at the end of Fast and Furious 6. Fast 7 also is making room for Kurt Russell, Tony Jaw, Ronda Rousey, Jamon Hansu, John Brotherton, and Natalie Emanuel. It's unclear what side of the fence they will be on and how much of an impact they will have in the movie, but they are definitely in it. And finally, the future of the Fast franchise. Vin Diesel had mentioned in an interview before Walker's death that the 6th and 7th movie are setting up a whole new trilogy and he would love to get to 9. Conversely, after the death of Paul Walker, Vin Diesel really had a tough time even filming 7, and there are still signs of this if you follow him on his social media accounts. Thank you for watching and please comment below on your thoughts of the Fast and Furious series and anything I may have missed in this video.